Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and on this channel, we talk about building your spiritual confidence so you can listen to your intuition and read your tarot cards with ease. And today I am so, so excited to be taking you through our first walkthrough of my new Tarot Astrology Planner. So what we are going to be doing is I'm going to open up the planner and just let you have a look at all the pages. And we are going to be going over what the plan is about, how I have brought tarot and astrology into your daily planning, and how doing that is going to help you internalize not just your tarot cards and getting that beautiful connection that's going to help you with your reading, but also how you can learn more about the astrological houses. I'm so excited. Wait till I show you what I've got, what I've, I've put together. I just can't wait to show you. I had this brainwave and it's just all come together. So let me spin the camera around and open up the, the uh, journal and give you a look. Over we go. So let's have a look at my Tarot Astrology Planner. So this is available in my Etsy shop and it's available as these pages, which I'll show you in a minute. But before I show you, I just wanted you to see, this is just a folder that I got from Officeworks. And it I just got these dividers from Officeworks. I haven't put my labels on them yet. Um, and it's just a basic two ring folder. If you are in Australia and the rest of the world, you would use A4. But if you are in the United States, you're going to be using US letter size. Now, the planner comes in both sizes. Now, I've printed it bigger. This is my, this is my uh, challenge journal that I put together in my little Kiki K um, folder. And, of course, Kiki K has gone um, um, bankrupt <laughs> again, which is really, really sad because they made the most beautiful folders, but um, uh, file faxes. But if you... Look online, I'm sure you'll be able to find something. And D stash groups are the best places to look because often people have bought things and then changed their mind and it's sitting in the bottom drawer, as this one was for me, but I just love the colour. I couldn't part with it. And it has been perfect for my challenge. And if you want to know more about the challenge, just click around in my YouTube channel and there's links. In fact, I'll put the link at the bottom if you want to join the, ch ch the challenge. I'll put the link in the description box and in the comments so you can see it and then just click on it and go over and join and you'll see everything you need to know about the challenge. So this is just a purple folder and I printed it bigger because I thought I'm going to need space and you'll understand that when I show you the folder, uh, the planner. But I've, I can't speak today. What's going on with me? Um, but of course you can print. So for example, you would tell your printer to print half size into A5 or US letter if you wanted half size. But as you see, as we go through the planner, you'll realize that you're probably going to need a bit of space. When you go on to actually uh, ritualize and actually do everything you've planned, you might want to use more of a, a notebook size journal and, and that's fine. But for this part of it, I think you're going to need um, a little bit more space. Anyway, this is the planner. Achieve your goals and dreams this year with the power of the tarot. And actually, we're using tarot and astrology in this planner. So when you look at this as an online PDF, you will see that there are some links here. One is to go come across here to my YouTube channel and find the playlist and uh, watch the training videos. And this is the first of, I think we'll probably have about six or seven training videos on this particular journal um, that I will show you. Um, I'll have them all on my YouTube channel. I'm not making this something private. It's just, if you want to support me, buy the journal and follow along with me. Um, I don't sort of do things 
um, in courses and things like that. I find it's easier. I just have it out on my YouTube channel. I like teaching to everybody and then everyone can join in as best they can. Um, I also have um, my newsletter, which you can sign up for, and there will be a link sent out to everybody to my membership platform where you can find all of the videos for the um, journal and, of course, a choice to have reminder emails. Some people like reminder emails, some people don't. It's really up to you. So this is just takes you through step by step. You don't have to print all this. I've printed it, but you don't have to. I always tell people, don't print the instructions. It's a waste of ink. But this just takes you through all the different sections. So we're going to start with connect, which is connecting with the astrological houses and, re and relating them to your life. Then we're going to imagine what we can do with all the different aspects of our lives that need work. Then we're going to explore setting up some goals. Then we are going to do some planning. And I've got tarot spreads for you to use to help you with your planning, all sorts of things. And then we are going to ritualize. And as I will take you through each section, I'll show you my journal as I do it so you can get some ideas of how to get started. Now, I've written lots in this journal, so I'm not going to read it to you because it's boring. And if you per purchase the journal, you'll be able to read all this and get value from it. So as I said, how this planner works, connect, imagine, explore, plan and ritualize. So our first section is connect. Um, there are 12 astrological houses and I take you through each one of the 12 astrological houses and I place them on the astrological wheel. If you look on this side, you can see how all of the tarot cards are placed on the wheel and this is the Golden Dawn placement. So I haven't pulled it out of the air. This is the actual placement that was done by the Golden Dawn when they first started looking at using the tarot for divination and understanding the deeper patterns that are within it. So um, I've set up your houses here with the astrological signs and then I've got the wheel here for you to have a look at. Then inside we've got each one of the houses and I've related the tarot cards to them and written a description for you that helps you to understand all the imagery and how the tarot cards and the houses relate together. So we're going to whip through these. If you purchase my journal, you'll have all of that in detail. Then I talk about the wheel of life. So what I've actually done is I've put this wheel of life. Hang on, I'll show you. The wheel of life, which relates back to the astrological wheel. Oh, I'm flipping pages here. <laughs> I should make these presentations electronic but I really wanted you to see the journal so this is the wheel of life and for those of you who haven't seen a wheel of life it's basically where you have each one of the houses you know each one and how it relates to um, your aspect of life so we've got the self resources communication home and family creativity routines relationships legacy, meaning, reputation, community, and intuition. And as I was, this, this epiphany came to me, I was like, if I was to do my wheel of life, which I've done many times when I worked as a psychologist with people doing, you know, really deep life work, if I was to use the astrological wheel of life, yes, there are 12 different sections to consider, which is a lot, whereas normally a wheel of life only has eight, but you've actually got this opportunity to look at every single aspect of your life. And I will come back in and do a training with you. Our first training is going to be me doing my wheel of life. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on that, make sure that you like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you get that um, notification that I have uploaded a video. So each one of these is like, um, a score out of 10, so 1 being low, 10 being high, and I'll sh anyway, I'll show you how I do it. I'm, we're just doing a walk, walk through today. So that is your wheel of life. So you get a sense of every aspect of your life and how it relates to you in terms of your life satisfaction. Then what we're going to do 
is we are going to imagine. You know, I didn't plan this, but aren't those dividers, aren't they matching up nicely? Oh, I do like that. I wonder if the next one does a bit, maybe. Mm, okay. <laughs> so we're going to reflect. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about why we gave a certain score to each one of those astrological um, houses. If you are struggling, you can use the tarot to help you. So thinking about your score, and again, I always have plenty of space to write. Thinking about your score, I want you to do a, a tarot reading. So you would put a card representing you, a card representing your challenge, a card for each one of the astrological houses, and then write about each one of the cards to help you get some deeper, deeper understanding of each one of the houses that you're going to be looking at and breaking down and coming to an understanding of all the different aspects of your life that you need to work on. So this is my um, tarot symbol sheet. You can make your own symbols, but the idea is, is whatever card that you've placed in here, you can write about here. And I've given you some questions that you can look at for example position one which is here which is representing you you write about the meaning and then you've got some questions and you don't have to answer these formally you can do all sorts of things sometimes what i like to do is pull a card for every one of these and you can use these symbols to record your tarot cards rather than trying to write out you know v11 which is you know seven the chariot you just put you just draw a little chariot on the dot grid and you can write or you can put it in here however you want to use it and each one of these are to help you think about what the house or what the position of the actual spread which is what we've got here is representing so it goes all the way through position one you can see now why i've got lots of space here two house position one position two house one the self Thought for a minute I've made a mistake. House two, resources. House three, communication. And pop your score out of 10. House four, home and family. House five, creativity. House six, routines. House seven, relationships. House eight, legacy. House nine, resources. House 10, reputation. House 11, community. And house 12, intuition. Then we're going to explore so what we're going to do is we are going to put some goals together so what we're going to do is think about the 12 houses which ones had the lowest score so which ones do you think oh that's missing and I've got to tell you nobody 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 has a perfect wheel so every, nobody goes out at the outside and has 10 for every single one. If you're doing that, you're, there's something wrong. And I want you to say to yourself, what, what am I, you know, what am I deluding myself about? Everybody has. And again, other people looking in might say, oh, your life's perfect. What are you talking about? It's all relative. But all of us have something we want to work on. All of us. So... Crafting your life. This is about choosing the areas of your life that need work now. I suggest you start to think about three. Don't choose any more. It's too much to do. You can always, once you feel you've got those aspects of your life under control, you can go all the way back to the beginning of this journal and you can use it all over again, which is the beauty of instant download. Not only can you have it straight away, I had somebody whinge to me the other day and left me terrible feedback that I didn't have hard copy of my journal so they could purchase it. I'm in Australia, guys. We're in lockdown. We're in a pandemic. And it is going to take at least 12 weeks to get your journal to you. If you purchase in my store, instant download, not only is it heaps cheaper, but second of all, you just click the download button and you've got it. Straight away, you just get a folder, hole punch it as I have and get started. And don't think, oh no, 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 
I've got to wait till January. I've got to wait till the middle of the year. Do it now. Do it now. It doesn't matter when you start. It's the making a start that really makes a huge difference. So, and this is, for those of you who missed it, this is available in my Etsy shop and I will be putting the link to purchase the journal in the comments and in the description box for you. So here, uh, you're going to put your, all your scores for all your different houses so you can see it in a summary. And then I've got a little bit to read about setting goals, which if you purchase my journal, you'll have the opportunity to read. And then I'll encourage you to do a goal mapping. So this is about... Okay, I understand these are the things I need to work on. And what are the things I need to do? So I really encourage you, on the one hand, it's important to be specific about the goal you've chosen and when you want to complete it by. And we're going to go into more detail about that when I do your training videos. And so that's really important. So you'll see example I've got, I've got here, lose five kilos by Christmas. <laughs> is that going to happen? <laughs> We're in October now, just about. Um, create a housework routine to begin next month. Start a business planner journal to begin January 22. So there's some examples of ones I've put together for myself. And then what um, you would do is get really task specific. I want you to think, what are the things I need to do? Right down to tie my shoelaces kind of detail and put together your goal mapping which will sit on this side. Then, if you feel a bit stuck and you think, oh, I don't know, do a, a, a um, tarot spread. Write your goal in here, lay your cards out, answer the questions. I hope that will give you some more clarity. In fact, I'm sure it will. All right, then you can take some notes here related to that spread there. Name your three goals. What are the three goals you really want to work on? And then you've got your worksheets where you can put all that together. Then we're going to plan because a goal is only a dream without a plan. So we're going to look at setting up quarterly goals, things we're going to get done. So this is here. We're going to look at goal one. What are we going to get done in the first 30 days, the first 60 days and the 90 days? So over three months, each quarter. So we start with the first quarter and set yourself some realistic goals. And don't over, you know, I, I am terrible. I always set myself way, way too much to do and then look at it all and think, why didn't I get that done? Then you've got 30-day goals where we're going to break up the goals. And I'll show you how I'm going to do all this in the trainings. And we'll be doing a training once a week. So I won't leave you too long in between. And then you've got a quarterly review. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how you went over at the end of three months. Did you get it all done or not? And we're going to do it. We can do a tarot spread about it. And I've got some notes for you and then some spots to do some reflections and answer some questions about your reflections. Uh, what did you achieve in the last 90 days? What milestones did you complete? What were, what were the constraints? What held you back? And then picking your next three goals. So you can see you can print that over and over and over and over again. Then what we're going to look at is how we can actually take all of those tasks and put them into a daily ritual. And I've got some notes here for you to read about, <coughs> excuse me, about putting tasks and new things that you want to do into a ritual. And then I've got some worksheets here. Now, I haven't set this up as a planner. I agonized over this. I thought, do I build a planner? Don't I build a planner? As soon as I build it, it's like, Oh, I could have put this in there. I could have put that in there. So I've tried to set it up with no year because I, I really despise doing that. I'm the sort of person, I'm so all over the place that I really need to have planners that do not have dates in them because I'll buy a planner and think, oh, yeah, I will do that. Oh, yeah, I will do it. And then I don't do it. And then when I finally do it, if it's got dates in it, it's just, it's just a mess because the dates don't match when I want to start. So other people love dates and that's up to them. 
but I have just built you some planning sheets that you can print out and choose to use and choose to print as many times as you want. So you've got year at a glance, and this is where you'd put special events, you might put school holidays, um, anything that you, you know, anything that you want to keep notes of. I've got a monthly planner here, a notes page, another monthly planner that goes across two pages. You can, if you want to have that so that it sits one and the other page, how you set that up is you just um, print, you can either print it like this, one and then the other, or you just make sure that you pick your pages so that you um, place it so that it's here and here when you choose your pages to print them out. Then I've got now, I have got a month page here. And some of you will, I know, are using my um, baby witch bundle, which goes through the seasons, the moon phases, the sabbats, the zodiacs. I'll make sure I put all of that into the um, description box and into the comments. So if you want to go and look at that journal, you can. But it gives you all of these detail on all of these things that you can then lay out in the month. I've done a weekly one of those for you as well, particularly if, if you're working with magical timing. And in that um, Baby Witches Journal, there is a whole section on magical timing that I think you would find very useful if that's the pathway you want to go. I've got a weekly time blocking. I've got uh, weekly plans. I like these printed on one page because then, although you have to turn it over, it's on one page and you don't lose bits. You don't lose bits. Weekly plan, little habit tracker down here. These are all, and then I got really into it. <laughs> and I did a daily planner here with just water intake, exercise, all those things. And then I thought, oh, I could make it. And I could put the zodiac sign and the season you're in and the moon phase and the Sabbaths and what water and exercise and meal tracker. Um, these three things are the things I really like to track. I really like to track them. So this is to give you some ideas. And for those of you who have a Canva account, you might want to go and, and make your own. This is just to give you some, some inspiration. Um, and then my plans for today is another one, a to-do list. Love. I love having something that I can scribble on. I have a book that I use and I sort of put the date at the top and I just scribble on it and I do all my daily stuff in there. And then if I lose something or forget something or aren't sure what I've done, I just go back to that book and I just flick back through the pages and it's a mess of everything, but I invariably find what I'm looking for. So I find that really helpful. It's funny, years and years ago when I first started working online, I had a, a coach and she said, oh, you should be using one password. What are you doing writing all your passwords down? Ugh. What are you doing with that handwritten book? We do everything online. Anyway, she did something and she lost it and she lost some passwords. And she actually rang me and said, have you still got that book that you wrote everything down in? And I was like, yes. So whilst I would not encourage you to write down passwords at all because of the amount of scamming that's going on now, which is just like next level than the 10 years ago or so now that it was when I started to uh, get serious about working online. Um, it, you know, just do not write those things down. Get yourself a password locker. One password I'm pretty sure starts with a free account that would be more than enough for many of you to use to store all your passwords. So do get one of those, have it online. And it's called 1Password because all you have to do is remember one password to get into your password locker. All right, so there's your to-do list, another to-do list, habit tracker, and then back here I threw in ha, 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 a moon phase calendar, and I will do a whole training on how to fill this out, but essentially you're going to go online, you're going to look for the moon phases in your particular area of the world. Essentially, we all look at the same moon, but it does appear slightly differently depending on where you are in the world. And of course, if you're right up the top or you're right down the bottom, it is different. And if you're me and you're in Australia and standing upside down on the world as it's spinning around, you see everything in reverse. So a crescent moon that faces left might face 
Right, that makes sense. So if we have a look here, so if you're looking at these moon phases and you're looking at um, the waning moon, which is here, uh, you've got Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. See how it's reversed? So I've got all of those there for you in the moon phases. I've got your dates for the Sabbats, your zodiac dates, and your Esbat moons. And which ones are in the Northern Hemisphere and at what in what month? And of course, for your Esbats, you are celebrating the full moon here. And this is where this helps you because it tells you when your full moon is in the month of the year in your particular area and time zone. So the last thing I need to show you is a great big fat copyright. Um, I do ask you, please, please, please to respect uh, the copyright of my work. I work really, really hard with the journals that I produce and it would make me really sad if I found out that somebody had copied my idea. Um, it's just not fair. It's really not fair and I have... Um, you know, I don't really like to talk about these things, but I have gone to a solicitor and I am in the process of putting together trademark and registering copyright and trademark for all of my work so that if somebody does decide to copy me, I have uh, legal, legal recourse. So that is it. I hope you love the planner. I certainly do. I cannot wait to get started on the training. If you love my work, Please, please, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell. And of course, if you love my planner, please, please purchase it so that you can work in it and follow the trainings as we do them on YouTube. Take care, everybody. And I cannot wait to get started. Bye bye.